I'm here with the Assembly Republican Leader John Bramnick of Westfield and the Assembly Transportation Committee Chairman John Wisniewski of Saraville. Assemblyman, what did you think of the governor's speech? Fabulous. Told it the way it was uh, and is. Basically said you're putting mandatory spending in the Constitution of New Jersey and you're pitting one interest group against another. Really bad policy. This one, they went way too far on the Democrats. Who went way too far? The, the Democrats. Oh, did. in proposing a constitutional amendment to, to boost the pension. I'm going to make it simple. This constitutional amendment would say that four or five years from now, $5 billion would have to go to the pensions, regardless of the financial situation of this state at that time. This is why we have budgeting, and this is why you have to leave flexibility in the budget process. This is risky behavior. Assemblyman, what did you think of the speech? You know, after 261 days of absence, I was just glad the governor was in Trenton once again. People of the state of New Jersey voted for Chris Christie to be governor for four years, not to take a 261-day hiatus to leave Kim Guadano in charge. Look, Kim's a wonderful person. And a good some, of those, some of those days are partial days out of state, not entire days out of state, for the record. For the record. Still, the governor, when he's out of state, is not the governor, and Kim Guadano's the governor. That's not what the people of the state of New Jersey voted for. But the reality is that the governor, once again, failed to address the issues that face the state of New Jersey. New Jersey still has a structural $10 billion deficit, no matter what he says. He loves the crow of his accomplishment of a balanced budget. Every governor who was sitting here in the audience accomplished a balanced budget because it's in the Constitution. He failed to address the Transportation Trust Fund. He failed to address the fact that eight of 10 school districts in the state have less money today than they did in 2010. But he focused on New Jersey. To those who say he's focused on the national election, today at least, it was fo New Jersey focused. No? Well, it's a speech about New Jersey. I would hope that his handlers would remind him that he's giving a speech in Trenton and not in Portsmouth. What but about the, the fact... But, but the Democrats are in the majority. They're here. You can pass whatever you like. You have enough votes in each house. What about why the fact? Blame, why blame the governor? You can pass those reforms. You know what they are. You can make it more. Bill. John, he's got to sign the bill. You know that. Well, he's got to no sign the bill. the bill. Well, he doesn't sign bills. He vetoes them. And you watch the bills that were passed by the legislature in the lame duck session, the closing session. He very frequently resorts to his unique opportunity at this point in time to do a pocket veto. The bills die with no explanation because he doesn't have the courage of his conviction. You lower a tax, I guarantee you. He will sign that bill, well, but it doesn't let, let, seem let, to be let, something. Let, 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 let me. Let, let, we, we only have we, we only have limited time. Would you, would you support doing away with the estate tax? What I would support is the governor giving us a recipe on how he's going to pay for that. The governor says, I want to give away $700 million of revenue the state's taking today, which everybody says, hooray, how are we going to pay for it? The governor fails once again to explain how he would pay for the programs that he advocates for. That's irresponsible. That's not being a conservative. He was being as liberal as they come. And the people on the campaign trail in New Hampshire and Iowa ought to know that liberal Chris Christie promised to spend $750 million today and had no way of paying for it. We know this is the number one exit state in the country because the policies that you just heard about, you will just reject out of hand. What are you going to do to stop people from leaving this state who know they can't afford to die here? You need to change the law. New Jersey's not the number one exit state. Look, there are wonderful statistics that everybody can manipulate, and that's what the governor did today. He's a ma you know, while getting up there saying that we shouldn't be using sound bites, this is the master of sound bites who spent a portion of his speech today criticizing John Corzine, who hasn't been in office for five years. We got to wrap it up, gentlemen. Thank you for a spirited and quick exchange. John Brandmick. John. John Wisniewski. Thank Michael, you. Thank you.